This is Eugene Panrickovich. I'm in the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus A52J laptop computer with a broken screen, and we're going to show you how to replace it. So before we do anything, we want to remove the battery to make sure that the laptop is safe to work with. So there's two levers you have to work with. One is the to unlock the computer from the back, and the other one to slide the lever on the right and slide the battery out right here. So once we remove the battery, the laptop is safe to work on. Okay, just like with most laptops, you have to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen, to get to the screen to replace it. And in order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove the screws that are holding it down. And in order to get to the screws, you have to remove the rubber screw covers that are on the laptop. Looks like there's six here. So quickly, let's go over the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use a X-Acto knife with a pointed blade, which we'll start using in just a minute. An electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 is the size. And a pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove screws that may be stuck. All right, let's remove the rubber screw covers. That's what we use the X-Acto blade for. One. Two. Sometimes for the middle covers, you won't see any screws under there, so then just put the covers back on and move on. Okay, so we have four. Five. And six. Now that you remove the screw covers, and we're going to remove the screws one by one with our screwdriver and our metal tweezers come in handy right now. So put one, two, there might be some magnets or something in the back because these screws don't want to come out easily. Three, four, five. Almost there. And the last one, number six. And this one is going to come out easily also. So we'll try taking it out with a knife and it comes out. All right, next step is to remove the screen bezel. This is probably the hardest part of the job because you have to snap it off. And what I want to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and listen for the snapping sounds. Okay, now if you can't lift up one part of it, just go to a different part and come back to the part that's tougher than the rest. So we go around the screen, like so, and go on the bottom, same thing, and then we need to loosen it up from the bottom also. Sometimes a uh, prying tool is useful, but I think we can get this one on just with the fingertips. Okay, so once you remove this, it comes out. Now, um, for you, it's probably going to be a little bit tougher to remove it, so um, I did it pretty quick. So it might take you a couple, two or three minutes, maybe in five or ten. So just take your time and try not to force it too much so as not to break the bezel. 
Sometimes even it happens to me after I get that, but try not to. Okay. Next, we see the screen assembly, and we want to remove the LCD panel from the screen assembly. And in order to do that, there's some screws on the side of the screen that we need to get to. And in order to do that, we need to remove the screens, screen assembly from the screen from the screen assembly. And this one's a little bit different in that the metal bracket is not attached to the screen assembly on the bottom. It's only hooked together by two screws, which we remove, like so. And see if we can take a screen out now. Okay, now we see that there's another bracket on top. This is a little bit unusual design. So what I did was first remove these two screws on the side. And now we're going to remove two screws on top to the left and to the right of the webcam. Okay, and when you start removing screws, make sure to keep them in separate piles so you can keep track of them when you're putting them back together. All right, now we remove two of these screws, and there's still something holding the screen assembly down. Let's figure out what. Here we go. Okay, now the screen is the screen is free from the screen assembly, but you see the webcam cable has adhesive that's stuck to the back of the screen. So we remove the webcam cable slowly like so and there's now that the screen is loose okay so there's two things that we need to take care of first for most laptops these two metal mounting brackets there on the sides of the screen they stay with the screen assembly they don't come off with the screen so we need to remove these two metal mounting brackets from the side. And they're held by four screws each. So when we first remove the screen and then mount the screws, like so. And keep it on the pile to the right of the computer because this bracket's on the right. And what I like to do is just put this metal mounting bracket to the side like this so we know it's the right bracket. And we do the same thing with the left bracket. Like so. three and the fourth screw. Almost there. Okay. So we removed the bracket on the left side and we'll put it to the left along with the screw so we can keep track of it. Now we're free to take the video cable off from the screen. This is a LED screen, so it only has one connector. And this connector is here. And there's some adhesive tape on top. And usually there's adhesive on the back, but not in this case. And the connector just slides out. Okay, so here comes a very important part. The number one mistake that I see people doing is they don't put this connector in all the way. So when you put it in, you, you feel like almost like a snap there, and the connector is in all the way. So I'm going to get a close-up and just show you what it's supposed to look like. Get a good focus. Okay, now pause your video right there and take a close look what it should look like. That's what it should look like when you put the new screen back in. If it doesn't look like this, then the connector is not fully inserted and the screen will not work. So make sure you have something that looks like this. Okay, so 
let's take the screen out again and take a look at the screen type. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of mid-2011, this is the most common screen used on laptop computers. Let's take a look at the part number. It's B156XW02. So when you do your search, you just search for B156XW02. Now, most likely when you get your screen in, it won't be this exact same number, but the screen will look exactly like this with the connector on the lower left-hand side. Now, uh, our business, Screen Surgeons, also sells this laptop screen for this computer. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you install the screen. And also we have a compatibility guarantee that if for some reason the screen is not compatible, we'll, you ship it back and we'll send you a replacement. Okay, um, that's it. So, and just one quick note, the screen is glossy, just like most other screens. So when you put your screen back in, first thing is you need to put these metal brackets on. Then put the screen back on. Put this top bracket on, like so. Then put the two side screws on. Then put the screen bezel back on. And put the six screws back on there. Once you do that, uh, everything should be ready to go and your laptop will work again. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrithrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much. And